According to reports, Twister's star Glenn Powell is joining or has joined Batman Brave and the Bold, and he will be playing Bruce Wayne. Maybe it's all that money that they're getting from Twisters this past weekend. He's going to be making it wane. <laughs> so yeah, Glenn Powell, if you guys uh, recall, in the last couple months, he's made some statements. Uh, he was asked about losing out a role for Marvel. He said he completely blew it, but he doesn't want to be in generic capers like Marvel. It's just not his thing. He said he wants to flex his muscle outside of comic books. And then he was asked about DC, and he said, well... I really want to play Batman. I think I would do a amazing job, and I think it would be something completely different. He pitched his Batman, which I talked about, which was more or less like Keaton's Batman, almost. Like, he kind of pitched that vibe. And honestly, I think he could make a decent Batman. Um, I don't think he's a terrible actor or anything like that, don't get me wrong. I just haven't seen too much of his work to be able to fully commit to saying, yes, he would be perfect. And as of this, I haven't seen Twisters yet because I was going to see it. But then I forgot that that was my D&D &D session. So um, I didn't see it yet. I'll see it soon enough. Anyways, here's why people are reporting that he has been cast. And it's because people are doing uh, detective work on social media. And what they've noticed is that Glenn on social media accounts has followed Andy Muschietti, the director of Batman Brave and the Bold, and James Gunn the producer of, well, the DCU, and according to some, he's also followed Peter Safran as well, wherever he has um, his stuff. So, is there anything to this? Well, maybe, maybe not. Um, we've seen actors follow directors and producers in the past, and it hasn't led to much. But when these same actors are then followed back by these people... This is when things get interesting. And as of now, we haven't seen anything just yet, but maybe there is something to this. Now, people are saying that he is set to play Batman, but I find this really interesting and a little weird because James Gunn has recently clarified how they're handling the whole process. And to me, it seems like this is way too soon, unless he's going to appear in something before his own standalone film, which realistically I think would make sense. So unless he's already joined and they're going to have a surprise cameo from Batman at the end of Superman, I mean, I don't know what else you could do, right? So while some people are saying, yes, he's set to play Batman, and sure enough, let's go with that, maybe he is, I'm not willing to put like a 100% guarantee on this. So let's wait and see. Maybe this will be a surprise announcement somewhere, or maybe, I don't know, maybe they just confirm it out of nowhere and say, yep, here it is, here's your new Batman release date. We're coming 2027 or something. I mean, it could happen. Who knows? 